What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Season 2 Battle Pass for Overwatch 2. Kind of give you the start date, uh, some of the details. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, the date for Season 2 will be Tuesday, December the 6th. On that day, the Season 1 Battle Pass will be replaced by the Season 2 Battle Pass. And they said other changes, of course, for the new season will come into effect. Blizzard said that players can expect a period of downtime to make these necessary changes. Now, when it comes to Season 2 and what's going to be included in this, uh, of course, we're going to get the new tank, he uh, tank hero, excuse me, Ramatra. Also, in terms of some other things we can expect is a new map, uh, which is going to be kind of the Null Sector Leaders kind of theme. So, it's going to be themed around Ramatra. Also, the Winter Wonderland Seasonal Event. And this is also players can expect some major balance changes in season two with blizzard having already you know confirmed that dps passive ability will receive a serious rework they did go on to say to make sure uh, that you know if you're not done with the season one pass and i know this is going to kind of upset some people because i made that video yesterday about the new hero about ramatra and how people are not happy with how that character is unlocked in that season pass the same kind of thing can kind of be said for season one if you have not locked, unlocked the hero and completed the pass in season one, if you have un not unlocked uh, Genji's skin, those will be available, but you will have to pay for them after this point. Um, and that is what everybody is assuming, at least, because Activision nor Blizzard have really said anything differently. We assume that, you know, the season one hero and, of course, you know, some of these skins will still be available in the store, but it's probably going to be for purchase. I think a lot of people are hoping they would add some of these heroes in maybe in some other ways into the game without having to buy them to where you would could or where you could or would be able to maybe unlock them through challenges you know if you didn't get to play in that recent season because i'm not really a big fan of having people players you know that have lives or you have to do something else or not able to play all the time or something comes up i'm not really a big fan of them having to purchase future and uh, past heroes from the store if they were not able to complete a certain season's battle pass and it looks like right now the way blizzard's kind of talked about it that each season will kind of last about two months so like i said i understand that people have stuff going on in, in real life so it gets kind of difficult to be able to get everything done in a game if you don't have all the time in the world to play so anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts let me know if you're looking forward to season two and let me know what you think they should do going forward with you know heroes uh would you like to see them just added in maybe with some kind of challenge system so you can unlock those heroes uh so that way you don't have to purchase all of this stuff from the store if you did not get to complete a particular season anyway if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace